Need a date night to unwind from the holidays, a little time away from the kids? Come spark some romance at the Alhambra with a wonderful love story, Love Letters. I'm Craig Smith, and we'd love to host you soon, now through February 9th. Dear Andy, thank you for the birthday present. I have a lot of Oz books, but not The Lost Princess of Oz. What made you give me that one? Sincerely yours, Melissa. I'm answering your letter about the book. When you came into second grade with that stuck-up nurse, you looked like a lost princess. I don't believe what you wrote. I think my mother told your mother to get that book. I like the pictures more than the words. Now, let's stop writing letters. Oh, help, let me out of here. They shipped me off to this nunnery. I mean, it's the absolute end of the world. Oh, we have to wear these sappy midi blouses, and we learn posture in gym, and we speak French out loud in class. Aide-moi, mon chevalier. Oh, God, it's crappy here. All the girls squeal and shriek, and you can hear them barfing in the bathroom after the evening meal. Just got your letter. They shipped me off, too. Last-minute decision. Your mother told my mother it would do me good. She said I was a diamond in the rough. I'll write as soon as I'm smoother. Dear Diamond, you two, I give up. Why do they keep, keep pushing us together and then they, they pull us apart? I like seeing you at Christmas vacation, particularly with your braces off. I like decking with you in the Watson rumpus room. <laughs> Will you go steady with me? I don't believe in going steady. It's against my religion. Anchors away. Here I am, looking like Henry Fonda and Mr. Roberts, riding during mid-watch on the bridge of a giant attack aircraft carrier, churning through the Mediterranean in the wake of Lord Nelson and Richard Halliburton. You'll be pleased to know that our guns are loaded, our planes are in position, our radar is constantly scanning the skies, all designed simply and solely to protect you against communism. Next time you see me, I want you to salute. I should have known you'd join the Navy. Now you can once again be with all boys. <laughs> Many congratulations on the baby. Harvard Law School yet? Are you getting all stuffy and self-important? As you know, I've always liked to write letters. I've decided I might do better trying to write laws, which, after all, are letters that civilization writes to itself. Yes, you are getting all stuffy <clears throat> and self-important. <laughs> Season's greetings from Senator and Mrs. Andrew M. Ladd and family. Season's greetings indeed. Is that all you can say to me after 40 years? I'm warning you, Andy. You keep that shit up, I swear I'll come down and moon the whole Senate. <laughs> Sorry. My staff set that out. Merry Christmas, old friend. How are you? Where are you these days? Living in New York. Alone, for a change. But the big question is... Who am I these days? That's, that's a toughie. Oh, I keep thinking about that strange old world we grew up in. How did it manage to produce both you and me? A stalwart, upright servant of the people and a, a boozed out, cynical, lascivious old broad. The best and the worst. That's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> 